Hi, welcome to the video. Uh, in this one, I'm going to take you over the recent updates that I've done on my AR Wing Pro build. I've finally been able to get all of the parts and, and pieces and get them put inside the fuselage, which has taken me a little while because one of the parts that I actually had for it was dead on arrival and I had to order a new one. So what I'd like to do is just show you uh, what I have done to mount all of the parts and components into the fuselage of the AR wing. I'm not actually going to show you the steps of how I did it, but it's really simple. To do all of it, all I have used are a few zip ties, some double-sided tape like this, and this other kind of tape, I know it as Emacs tape. It's a really, really handy tape. It's very light and durable and it sticks well, but it's not sticky. If you've never seen or used this before, it's, it's really well worth getting some. And beyond that, I needed a pair of tweezers and a pair of scissors. That's it. That's all you'll need to be able to do all the stuff that I'm going to show you here. To begin, we'll just take a look here at the back compartment of the fuselage, pop it off. What you can see in the back here is I have mounted the ESC and the EXT60 pigtail adapter between the flight controller and the ESC. I've just mounted them all right here with double-sided tape and you can probably see just tucked in there I've cleaned up some of the wires using one of the zip ties just to kind of keep things tidy and out of the way. The signal lead from the ESC to the flight controller is just routed through the bulkhead like you would normally do. You might have noticed on the canopy here, this is where I've actually installed my Express LRS receiver and antenna. You can see I've got right in there the actual receiver itself mounted just with some uh, double-sided tape and the antenna itself just very simply popped a hole in that little canopy for one end of the antenna and the other one should sit just inside and it all ah, little edge right there it all just clips right back in place and it makes a very very clean position very sturdy position for that antenna to be we'll have to see how well it works in terms of uh, rf noise because it's right where the esc is but i'm hoping it should be okay for the style of flying that i do moving up to the next compartment what we can see that I've done in here is simply mount the flight controller and attach all of the different components that are connected to it. So the flight controller itself is just simply mounted with double-sided tape. And what I did is I actually made a, a double layer of the double-sided tape just to raise the board a little bit off the foam and let a little bit of airflow get underneath the board as well. But that's held in there very, very securely with the double-sided tape. The wires that we can see all coming through here, to control them a little bit, keep them tidy, keep them from bouncing around and causing all sorts of vibrations, I've simply used this Emacs tape that I was talking about a minute ago to wrap up the wires, to keep them in, in groups. And in places like here, we can see I've just used it to tape the wires down to the foam. And it does actually reduce the amount of bend and flex that you'll get at the end of the wires as well. There are a lot of wires that we can see here, so let's take a look at what they're actually doing for us. On this side over here is where I've mounted the GPS. So it's just held in there with a couple pieces of double-sided tape. The wires route through here and just follow across over to the flight controller. On the opposite side, and the other compartment is where I have put the video transmitter, which in this case is a Diotone Mamba 1 watt video transmitter. And because it's a 1 watt video transmitter, I actually mounted it on, I've got some nylon standoffs, and mounted it on those, and then hot glued the standoffs to the actual board. It's the, There's a piece of plywood on the inside there. I hot glued the standoffs onto that little piece of plywood and what that does is it gives about a centimeter gap between the video transmitter and piece of plywood and that's going to allow more air to pass through 
um, coming through the vents and help to keep that fairly high-powered video transmitter cooler. I've got the VTX antenna just mounted right here. I'm not happy with that. I believe I'm going to be just building a little stand for it here that I can securely put it in um, so that it's not going to be flip-flopping around. The other part that's associated with the video, it's a Foxier FPV camera. It simply has its wires routed back up through here and then out across to the flight controller. The video transmitter has its own wires connecting across through over to the flight controller. And that's, that lets us get the on-screen display or the OSD that's built in with the flight controller, which is very useful to have when you're flying. As you can see, what I have done here is nothing particularly difficult or challenging to do. It just requires a little bit of thought and patience, mounting the different things in their respective places. But like I said, all I had to use was a little bit of this Emacs tape and some double-sided tape to hold everything in place, and it's all very securely mounted. After we've done and taken care of all of what we needed to assemble in the fuselage in terms of the electronics, we now start to get into the actual mechanical uh, aspect of building the, the wing out. And so one of the most important things is going to be making sure that the control surface throws how much they move up and how much they move down. We have to make sure that that distance is set correctly for this flying wing. Now, when you look at the manual, it says that it needs to have 12 millimeters up and 12 millimeters down of total travel from its neutral position. That's something that we'll take a look at in a separate video, but that is where we are going next. And so if you're interested in learning about how to set up throws on a flying wing, you should probably take a look at that video too, because it will help you out with that. As for now, thank you very much. I hope this was helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.